cooking a vegetable dish. Um, it's caramelised endive or chicory as you might know it as. Um, so in these times we're going to the supermarket and there isn't really anything on the shelves which I'm sure all of us have had the issue with. I'm going to the supermarket literally every shelf is empty. So what was amazing is I just went into the supermarket and the only thing where the shelf was totally full was the chicory, was the endive. Um, there was no white endive left or chicory, but there was a red one. And this ingredient is actually one of my favourite ingredients. Um, and it's a dish that I love to do and I do quite often and people love it and they keep asking me for the recipe and how to make it. So we just need our endive, vegetable... Um, <laughs> <laughs> So we just need the endive, the olive oil, some honey and um, some veg stock which I'll put some boiling water in. Um, how this dish can be made also is with caster sugar but I don't like to cook with any refined sugar so I'm going to substitute that for honey and it tastes just as good. cut the endive in half long ways. So first thing we do is we cut the end off. This bit's really important, okay, because we want it to keep attached. So we only do a tiny bit of the end off. See, look, already leaves will start to come off. And what we want to do is then do it, is then do it long ways in half. And we want as much of that to keep. Now we're going to get some olive oil in the pan. Again, you could do it with butter, but I like to keep away from the dairy to get the olive oil on. We want that to really start to heat up because we want to get this really nice, like, browned, caramelised thing on the base of the, of the endive. What we're going to do is place the half endives down flat. And then you'll see they start to sizzle. I might not have picked up a big enough pan, but... Why did I not do the bigger one? That'll do. So have them all facing flat down, and we leave these here for a moment, just until it gets nice and crispy and brown on the bottom and really nice and caramelised what this caramelization does is it really sweetens it up and it takes that bitterness away so people that might not normally like endive um, will really like this there start to be an amazing smell coming now when they start to caramelize so i take a spoon and this is where i get a bit hands-on so wash your hands wash your hands you dirty pig um i take a spoon and i flip, flip them onto their back you see they get this nice oh yeah caramelized situation going on. They look quite different when you're, if you're able to get the white on these, they look quite different. If any leaves fall off, don't worry. We can add a tiny bit more olive oil here. <laughs> I do love an endive, you know, like France, I really love eating an endive. Okay, so at this moment, we flip them back over again when we've got a nice bit of caramelisation on their bottoms. Flip them over. Flip them back to their flat. Then, the sweet moment. Then we go over the top of them. Mm -hmm. With a good old glug of honey. And then look, look, you'll see this caramelisation moment happen. You see? But it all starts to bubble. Now this is the moment that you don't want to walk away from it because you do not want burnt caramel. Right, and then as soon as it starts bubbling all over, we then get our vegetable stock in there. And all that lovely vegetable stock flavour starts to go in. 
Oh damn, I forgot my earrings. There we go, now I can cook. Cute, cute. It's starting to soften, we're not there yet. I'll just leave them. So, there shall come a moment where when I stick my knife in, it just slides right out. Now our knife is going perfectly through the big ones too. Turn that heat off. Get it off the heat. Just filming, man, one moment. Mm. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, bougie. So this is perfect for a side dish or a little snack. I'd say have it as your vegetable part of your of your meal um, and yeah normally one on deep is perfect so two halves has a perfect little veg side